Hello friends, welcome to another video on my YouTube channel and in this video we will compare two most famous Python web or API development frameworks called Flask and Fast API. I will build a simple application and demonstrate you know different uh, functionalities of these two frameworks. So let's get started. First, you know, if we compare both the frameworks, the fundamental working principle of both the frameworks are different. Uh, Flask works on WSGI, uh, Web Server Gateway Interface, while Fast API is asynchronous server gateway interface. Uh, Flask is synchronous. That means when a new request comes on a server, it processes that request and then take another request while fast api is you know based on asynchronous gateway so you know it can handle multiple requests at the same time i want you to understand these two words one is concurrency and parallel so parallel is different then concurrency parallel means you work uh, on two tasks at the same time while concurrency is different it's a it's a kind of a background task or i'm not sure how to explain this uh, in very well words i guess but these two are different uh, different so fast api works on asynchronous uh, way that means it can handle multiple or concurrent request on a single route at the same time. So that means flask is kind of a, you know, blocking input output while fast API is non blocking input output. And obviously flask is way older than fast API. So it was traditionally used for web application and you know, only used for web application and people were using flask for you know uh, apis uh, that doesn't require you know heavy tasks or heavy processing task in the route while you know fast api is you know asynchronous application so whatever uh, heavy heavy tasks that you want to run you can run it asynchronous and you know you don't block the uh, route so these are the few things about flask and fast api but from this comparison you don't have to you know uh, judge flask is bad and fast api is good uh, both have their own merits and demerits and before we move forward i want you to understand that on a server obviously when fast api runs asynchronously it uses hardware to you know run tasks in background and obviously when with different methods you can you know make flask handle concurrent requests as well and we will see into it so if i come here i have two application flask uh, which is very simple application it has one route which has a time consuming task and it basically i mimic it with the sleep sleep function and i make uh, the request sleep for two seconds the same uh, i have with uh, fast api I make the application or request sleep for two seconds but you can see that here there is a fundamental difference in the function I have written which is asynchronous and it will await this asynchronous IO sleep as well while here you see it's a synchronous function. So I have uh, let me clear the screen first. So I have two terminal open on this side. I'll run the application and from this side we'll send concurrent request. And before we move forward, I would like to show you that I have written a code that 
you know throws uh, 10 request on the server at the same time uh, i have written it for obviously two different uh, endpoints this one is for fast api and this one is for flask so let me run the application so i'll run the application using gunicon and file name and the app name so in my case it's flask app which is my file name and inside that i have the flask application uh, associated with the variable app and then hyphen hyphen bind and i'll bind it to localhost uh, 5050 and when i hit enter you'll see that uh, this application is running now what i'll do is that i'll call this python test flask api and it will throw 10 requests at the same time on the server running on the left terminal so when i hit enter you'll see that okay the first request uh, took two seconds then another request took four seconds six eight ten and obviously uh, the reason behind uh, this behavior is that the way flask works it takes only one request at the same time and then all the other requests were in queue and then so you can see that 10 requests took 20.04 seconds so almost 20 seconds to complete now on the other hand i will run the fast api application using uvcon and uh, my file name then the variable name that is associated with the fast api application and then i'll say host 127.0.0.1 and then my port will be 8080 and i'll hit enter you can see that the application is running so again i'll test uh, 10 concurrent request on the server using a file and when i hit enter you'll see that all 10 requests were handled by fast api in almost two seconds so you can see that it has worked in asynchronous manner but you know obviously when it rain all of these things asynchronously uh, it has consumed resources and it's not like that flask is you know behind there are ways to handle these things so i'll show you that as well so let me first clear the screen and when we run the flask application using gunicon we can you know provide uh, an argument called worker or i guess workers and let's say two workers at the same time and when i hit enter you'll see that now two instances are running okay two instances are running and when i test again you'll see that now two requests are handled at the same time okay because two workers are running so now instead of 20 seconds it took around uh, 10 seconds to complete the uh, i guess uh, there is some yeah so it took around uh, 10 seconds to complete the tasks because it has you know now two workers running but if i you know increase it to let's say five workers okay you can see five processes are running simultaneously and you need to understand that the concurrency is handled by gunicon itself so when i run this yeah, you will see that now only four seconds uh, were taken because at the same time it took five requests and then again another five requests so obviously if i increase this to 10 you can see 
10 workers are running and if I hit this we see that it took almost two seconds to complete the tasks so you know now the the thing is that obviously when you run 10 workers it's going to consume resources so uh, this number of workers will you know depend on the application to application and the type of application and you know the number of requests that you are receiving the hardware on which you are running the application but i'm sure that you know it's uh, the behavior of flask that it is you know wsgi kind of application so in order to manage the concurrency you need to increase the workers while on fast api it is managed internally and with the help of uvcon you can you know build the application or my bad run the application which can handle concurrency so you know i guess uh, this is it from my side i hope you have gained some knowledge out of this video and now in case you want to build your backend using python then you know you will make a right choice to you know choose either flask or fast api both have their merits and not demerits but both have their ways so for someone older who has experience with flask i will choose flask and a newer generation or the people who are familiar with pydentic model and you know pydentic way of validating request and everything they will go with uh, fast api fast api is kind of uh, you know uh, a framework which handles everything internally while if you go with flask you need to write all your things uh, manually but you know it on the other hand when you write everything manually it gives you more control over the application while using fast api it doesn't give you that control but you can get control over it with a way around to you know looking into the documentation of fast api itself so finally i guess uh, this video is helpful to you and if it is so please consider subscribing to my channel that helps thank you for watching peace